I think the most thrilling thing is to identify a new way to express things. And this is what we found in the Spexels. The Spexels are abbreviation for space elements in comparison to pixel elements. So a picture element is a flat kind of point in the picture, where Spexel is a floating spatial point in the space. And it's drones equipped with LEDs underneath, just like a swarm uh, flying through the sky. That is one new media that I'm totally interested in because nobody really has played uh, to identify an alphabet for that kind of, of artistic expression. It's not the drones that I'm interested in, actually. The drones are just like vehicles, that's not the point. What I'm interested in is this combination of different layers that would allow us to generate a multicellular robotic organism. And understanding this entire organism as one expressive creature. And that is uh, what thrills me the most. It's, it's something that's not there yet. And trying to catch it somehow. So in 1979, uh, Ars Electronica started as a festival, a festival for art, technology and society from the very beginning. And in this realm, we founded the Ars Electronica Center in 1996. And at the same year, the Ars Electronica Future Lab has started. That department that I'm working for, the Ars Electronica Future Lab, is the R&D department or the think tank of the Ars Electronica. It's several people with different diverse backgrounds in education that work on projects for art and science and industry. When we started originally uh, working with drones, drones were understood as being something super dangerous, like you know, delivering bombs or are used for surveillance. What we tried to do is take away these beautiful technologies from you know, the military and the industry and form something out of the civil society, creating something like an art piece to formulate a statement, if you want to say so, that these technologies could be used as well for something good. And I'm the artistic director of Ars Electronica. I think that the really interesting point is that Ars Electronica is always focusing in one direction. Even if we have this triangle of art, technology and society as our mantra, our real focus and direction is the human. Everything we do is focused on the human condition in this digital revolution. What does it mean for us as humans to be in confrontation with technology, to be able to use the opportunities of technology? And it's never the technology, it's always the human being. Is the sky the limit? <laughs> we had a saying earlier that the sky is the limit with our drones. Well, Actually, is the sky the limit? I don't think so. I can't think within the notion of having absolute borders. I don't think that the sky is the limit because I don't want to have limits. If we think back like 40 years or so, computers and communication infrastructures have changed in those 40 years, the way how we communicate, how we live together, drastically. We have influenced these technologies as well, but vice versa, those technologies have influenced our society. We understand our projects as sketches of the future. It's us, the society, making up our minds to define the ethical criteria that we want to go with those technologies towards the future. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.